Hi, my name is James with Animals in the Attic Restaurant Division. Even if you don't think you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, every restaurant owner should follow these simple steps. Well, you have rats in your restaurant and you're wondering, what happens with the urine and the feces? Well, typically it's inside the booth or on the floor or in dry storage on a rack. But the problem is, it creates issues with mostly your team members and your patrons. The baby crawls under the table and touches a piece of feces, let alone eats it, or wipes their hand in urine. They could get really, really sick. It's important you keep your restaurant spotless during this removal process. And at the very end, you decontaminate your restaurant to ensure the ongoing safety of your staff and your patrons. So you saw a little critter in your restaurant and you're wondering, is that a rat or a mouse? The bottom line is, doesn't matter. It's a rodent. They breed quickly. They destroy food supplies and wreck restaurants. Call a professional or keep watching and get the tips you need to solve this problem immediately. Even if you don't think you have any rodent problems, you own a restaurant. And most of them do eventually get a rodent problem. So some simple ways you can check from day to day and look for signs that there is an issue are by checking your dry storage area. Have they chewed through anything? Move the stuff around, don't just look on the outer edge. Often they get in from the back side of the stuff where they know nobody can see them. Then go look around your dining room. Are there droppings inside the booths? Pop off those cushions and look inside. That's where they usually are. Check your bar areas and the shelves that you store liquor on. They'll often go to those. But you have to keep your eyes open and look for those signs. So you saw a rat in your restaurant and you're wondering how long does it take to go from one rat to an infestation? You're already there. You have to treat it as though it's an infestation right from the second you have one sign, whether it be a chew hole in a bag of flour or whether you see a dropping or actually see a rat. You're there. React accordingly. Clean house, get traps set, and have someone help you search outside for their actual entry point. A dirty dumpster area is the number one cause of a draw of rodents to your restaurant. Make sure you keep the lid closed when not in use. The area is clean and free of grease and clutter. If you have or think you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, give us a call here at Animals in the Attic Restaurant Division. We will discreetly help you as quickly and professionally as we can.